Hey. Greeting, agents. This is your community manager, 3RL. And with me again, we have the announcer. Angel. Hey, how's it going, everyone? I and hope Satana. you guys are as excited as we are for this new set of trivia questions and some exciting what? new content around World Boss. So, yeah, take it away, 3RL. Let's All go. Righty then. We're going to open up the live stream with a little bit of a surprise reveal. I was right. Uh, if you saw the live stream announcement banners, we're actually giving away some small hints. We prepared for the April Fool's Day special uniforms. So let's present one last little hint. Yo. Yo, new April All Fool's right. look. There you have it. Maybe you've seen them on Twitter or on other channels. But uh, yeah, let us know what they're saying in the comments, announcer. Yeah, some people are, are telling us uh, tech production reviewer channel says, come on, devs, don't let us down. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sean Jason says, Satana? Question mark. Uh, yes, Dr. Meme like says, Satana, Angel and Satana and Angel. April Fools? Question mark. Wow. So, yeah, there we go. There like, we go. All yeah, right. they're getting some good guesses. The heroes for the April Fools Day special uniforms are indeed Angel and Satana. Wow, Angel and Satana. So it means oh, Angel Tier right Four. Then, yo, uh, let us know what your thoughts are about Satana, That's the crazy. one who's become an angel, and Angel, the fallen one. Angel who Tier has Four. The devil. Boys. Let's see what some of those uh, chat responses. Yeah, as you Angel remember, we've done this a lot in the past, like with, uh, I think we did it with Thanos and Squirrel Girl, so that's yeah. kind of the continuing thing. It's kind of cool to see the juxtaposed position of, like, Angel becoming super Oh, evil. shit! He looks jacked! Kind of really angelic. Yo, yeah, he looks really sick! Like her, the uh, fallen uh, one! Well, hopefully uh, the players are excited for that. Uh, yeah, let's jump right into Huge it, Huge reveal. <laughs> oh, shit! Okay. Next up... We will have um, Black Swan, the Satana's new super villain huge. in World Boss. Oh my With god. With her joining Marvel Future Fight, the Black Order has been completed. Uh, coming up in today's stream, we'll learn more about Black Swan, who is not only the new World Boss, but also a playable new character right off the bat. Right off the bat. And lastly, nice. we have Thanos, the leader of the Black Order, and once a wise harvester. He's returned with a new look. Uh -huh. He's retired. He's gone about a retirement and ready to kick butt. True. So we hope you're excited about uh, the new update as we dive into the details of the March Black Swan update. Wow. I'm also excited to announce, as always, we have some brand new trivia for you. Brand so while trivia. we showcase the characters and update, the announcer will kind of Odd. test your skills. Um, then this means you chat. So be ready to answer with some Marvel lore. And as always, we prepared the gift for agents who watch the live stream to the very end. And just the one last note we always kind of give you is please note the footage presented in today's Uniforms uh, build great. is a test build and there may be differences from the actual update. And with that, let's get into the details of this March update, shall we? All right, let's see what we're getting. Let's see. Let's see it. Okay, Black Swan. True. She's speed type. Wow, speed type native tier three. Wow, Thanos tier four, okay. We knew that. Angel tier four, wow, back-to-back -back speed types. Satana tier three. Oh, Satana transcended, probably with Hellstorm. Oh, wow. Okay, back at it. Her tits are huge, Let's what check the out hell? the first look of the new supervillain, Black Swan. Announcer Black Swan's tits look thoughts. so weird. I mean, she looks really epic, really menacing. I gotta love that. Don't her tits look weird? Red lasers coming out of her eyeballs, dude. That's pretty sick. Uh, yeah, wouldn't want to get on her bad side. All right, so Black Swan is a female alien supervillain who has destruction in her instincts and has right. been released as a powerful native tier three hero. Uh, wow, Black Swan will show her powerful abilities in PvP wow. and has a tier 2 passive that ignores basic attacks. Uh, Black Swan attacks with what? energy blasts from her eyes as we saw the little red beams there. PvP? And attacks in a wide range by manipulating her enemies with telepathy with her tier 3 skill. And we'll go ahead and be revisiting the supervillain later in the world boss. But let's go ahead and we'll check out our passive as well, shall we? Um, her first passive is called Uncompromising Precision. Um, try to say that five her times eyes fast. Look cool. um, this applies to self, a chance to penetrate, super armor, barrier shield, and all damage immune, as well okay. as invincible. And super armor, increasing basic defenses, and increasing skill damage and bonus right, classic damage. PvP set. Her nice. second passive is called Brutal Incursion. 
This applies itself, increases additional pierce damage, and decreases basic damage received. Wow. And has an activation rate of when HP is below a certain percentage. It applies to self, ignoring basic damage for a period of time while increasing basic damage and reducing damage taken for every time, uh, ignoring enemies' basic attack. Whoa. And her leader skill is called Lone Swan. Kind of like Lone Wolf, but you know, she's, a, she's Black Swan. Nice so. 3 RL. Um, this applies to all allies and removes all debuffs. Classic debuff leadership. There you have it. There's our first new. look at <laughs> Black Swan. And so with that, we're going to jump into the first bit of trivia. Announcer, take it away. All righty, guys. I hope you have your Marvel lore uh, cap on. So, hey, let's take it away with the first question. Marvel the first lore question cap. we have is Black Swan was imprisoned by which secretive organization? Yeah, it's definitely not the FBI. So the let's Illuminati. get some answers in there. Let's see what Black Swan was <laughs> in by which secret organization. Take it away, 3RL. Alrighty. While you're uh, getting the answers in, let's take a closer look at this powerful new super villain, shall we? No one cares. They just want to see her tits. Yep. I feel you, chat. I feel you. Those things are heaving, bro. There we go. Got the full entrance and everything. Those things let's are heaving. straight into her skills. Can't believe they made her speed. That's so First awesome. Up, we have skill number one, which is anti-matter punch. This is only the second time they've made a native tier two or native tier three speed type. There. I know they made. There's a little bit of some kick action in there Orvis too, but into a speed type, but he's not normally speed. He's universal, right? So it's just Quicksilver. Anti-matter punch one. also sounds like some kind of mixed drink you might get at a fancy party. Uh, this causes a uh, okay. stun as well as some energy damage and additional energy damage as well. Skill number two, Skill two. is called Doomsday Gaza. And we're going to turn on AI for this. I'm sorry, what quick. is it called? There go. One more time. I one think he meant time. gaze. No way he said Gaza. Bad angle. But that's okay. We'll do it one more time. Just that was a that was a bad. There we go. That's better. It's got to be gaze, bro. Um, she's this counterattacks when defending against enemy attack and enables uh, attacking enemies who have activated the ignore. No way. Effect. Um, no it applies way. burn, stun, okay. and removes active buff from target okay. as well as paralysis. Cool, cool, cool. Also has a uh, hundred percent chance to grant all damage immunity and targets the ignoring targets. Okay. All right. Skill notes. Let's turn that off so we're not just getting shot everywhere. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I kind of like it. Looks cool. <laughs> we are. All, we are all, all right. Not skill getting, number three not is called tonight. Death Pirouette. Death Pirouette. Right, okay. Check it out. Menacing red orb. Oh, that looks sick. That's like a uh, gladiator skill. I would say in this update, I really like all the little. Uh, animations of some of these skills all right death pirouette applies burn stun and capacitation uh, applies barrier and nice. accumulates pure damage when attacking accumulation uh, increases all basic attacks by percentage of damage damage accumulated all right this next one is called interdimensional destruction they're all nice and gathered up for me i think last time i did this in the test it kind of moves people out let's see oh yo Ooh, cyclops beams dude, I love yeah, that. it's kind of like cyclops eh um, interdimensional destruction applies burn cool. fracture as well as incapacitation, which removes active debuff from target as well as paralysis that ignores immunity. And it also grants invincible and barrier. Nice, 15 right, hit barrier. Wow. Nice and lined up here. She's gonna be Check a headache. Check out skill number five. Skills make me think she had some kind of dancing background. This because this other one's called Dance of the Black Swan. I mean, they're in a circle, ready for a yeah, dance. Let's too. go. Let's dance it up. Do you know the Dance of the Black Swan 3 uh, might It's kind of a weird it, skill after all the energy-based beam shit. I don't know if I want to dance the Black Swan. I feel like she's very intimidating. It looks cool, though. I like how the beams this come This move the end. causes burn, stun, and paralysis and decreases all basic defenses by a percentage. Mm. and increases all basic attacks, defense, speed, and crit rate by a percentage while removing capacitation. And lastly, we have her ultimate skill. Alt. Now, everyone is very spread apart. Well, yeah, no one wants to dance <laughs> no with her, No one dude. wants to dance with her. <laughs> They're all afraid. All right, this one is called Queen's Apocalypse. Let's check it out. Apocalypse? Oh, apocalypse. shit, another throwing, chair? Throwing down. Oh, Shooting Cyclops. fire from eyes. <laughs> yeah. That one's sick, dude. As you this is like Madeline Pryor right? Cyclops vibes. This uh, applies fear, silence, and incapacitation, uh, as well as invincible. 
increasing basic damage by 100% for one attack and increasing all basic attacks. It's okay. All right, we're going to jump into the combo. I've been hit or miss in the, the last two rehearsals. uniforms guys are for Satana. Uh, really trying to practice Satana as always. And Angel. Um, Three RL, you got this, let's bro. Let's go. go. I'll leave okay. her second skill has um, I from Dev recommended combo for the one we're going to show us. Three, four, and five. All right. Let's see if my timing has gotten any better. Hey, hey, there we go. There we hey, go. Hey, Ooh, one for one. For Let us know in the comments. 85, but before okay. we get there, let's see if anyone has some could of be, those. Could be answers hit me announcer all right guys so i'm seeing a lot of interesting questions here in the chat uh the question was black swan was imprisoned by which secretive organization uh excuse me if i'm not pronouncing your guys names are okay but uh the first question answer we have is miriam cartoon says the cia that's close to the fbi but nope that's not it <laughs> uh no, it's not the let's CIA. see fex user says black order um unfortunately uh that wasn't she wasn't in prison one the correct answer is let's see who got the first one Torch Torchy says Illuminati. That's oh right. man, Ooh. she was imprisoned by the secret of the organization, the Illuminati. Scary in both nice. worlds, I guess. That's yeah, like, just like you know, IRL. Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> dun dun dun. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for that chat. We appreciate you. Let us know if you're excited for Black Swan. Goth mommy. Hell yeah. All right, what's next? Oh, Angel. Alrighty. Next okay. up, we oh, have shit. Look at Angel, who has received a new uniform and He's tier four upgrade. Damn. Angel, even though his name indicates someone who might have shown some angelic appearance, has become the fallen one. And take a look at his devilish look. Get it, guys? A bit He's of an angel, so they turn I will him say into he a devil. is definitely ripped. Man, know. look at those abs. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's April Fool. You could wash some clothes on those abs, dude. Look at the little tears in the wings. I never really noticed that the first That's time. Cool. It's kind of cool. Really dope yeah. to see Angel like so menacing and evil, bro. Yeah, bro. Uh, Angel will be useful he in PvP say. as he can remove debuffs of allies mm -hmm. with his awakened skill. PvP. He can reinforce and heal himself with his tier four skills as well. And his first passive is called Aura of the Fallen. This applies to self, ignore target dodge rate by percentage as well as super armor and increasing all basic uh, defenses by a percentage. True. Then his second passive uh, is called Dark Judgment. Also applies to self crit rate increase by percentage, increasing guaranteed dodge rate, as well as increasing skill damage and bonus damage. Okay, and okay. Lastly, we have his leader skill, which is called Devil's Salvation. Applies to all allies, a percentage increase of recovery and dodge rate. All right. Ready for the next uh, bit of trivia, everybody? Lay it on me, announcer. All right, guys. So, are there any Angel fans in the in the chat? I just know I am. Off the ads. <laughs> We're not talking about the baseball team either. No, so. no, not the baseball team. Uh, all right, guys. The question is, what is Angel's real name? Uh, I think Three RL has a hint for you guys. Uh, so, what is Angel's like real name? Covington. Right. So the or quick hint, The quick hint is there. His name consists of four different parts. It's, it's um, like a rich yeah. guy. So while you figure it out, we'll take a look at his abilities. Warren Worthington the third. Yeah, he looks some Let's rich go. waspy dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. True, true. Warren Worthington. Like yeah. his little, he kind of flies in, Very left nice, to right, nice. little circle going on here. There's no more ads, guys. Right. Stop, stop crying. First stop up, bitching about the ads. Skill number one is called Devil's Charge. There's no more ads. You're just Let's crying about it for nothing. Off the countdown, as always. Announcer, right, let me know which of his skills is your favorite, so keep you on your toes. All right, skill number one, Devil's Charge. Okay, remember they said PvP. Um, oh, this one applies stun as well as some physical damage, of course. Skill number Dude, he is two. quick around yeah, that no, field. Yeah, really fast. really fast. I don't know if there's... Anyway, yeah, he's real quick. Really fast. Um, Not right. that it matters that Skill much for Skill number two, PvP, Hellish but... Descent. They didn't mention his so leadership. A better tread on these guys right in the center Looks here. okay. Skill two. Okay, that looks okay. All right, this causes burn, fracture, and paralysis, as well as some physical damage. Keep getting All right. spread out. We got more viewers than the here, official stream. Nice. Skill number three is called Angel's Fall. Okay. Ooh. Okay. That's a Dude, lot. That's a long animation. That's pretty intense. That's probably my It's got accumulation as well and a um, frenzy buff. He, like, literally repeatedly is, like, slamming one, two, three, four. Yeah. Hopefully five. you can, like, yeah, just like a cancel that maybe. I don't know. The end of there. That's a fun one. Uh, Angel's Fall applies bleed, 
and removes elasticity as stun incapacitation and removes active buff from target. Applies itself a 100% chance to grant all damage immunity and accumulates a small percentage of damage when attacking. And there's a small percent increase of all basic attacks for each percentage of pure damage accumulated. All right, hold on. We're going to just line them back up. There we go. Okay. All right, skill number four, Demon Feather. Oh. I really like all the particles for this one. Oh, okay, it's like a down. sword or something. That looks cool. I love skills that just burn up the ground, dude. That just like, yeah, it's like an all-out. Like it reminds me of a certain uh, other game, but yeah, that's a, that's a great uh, skill. Demon's <laughs> feather applies burn game, paralysis yeah. and increases all basic defense by a percentage and stacks while ignoring immunity. It applies to self uh, a recovery of HP, well, as well as invincible. It increases basic damage He's got a by a percentage. invincibility and a heal. Mm. All right. Skill number five. Are you ready for the next one? We got Voice of the Corrupted. All right. Like Sounds cool. I know. Introducing Voice of the Corrupted. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like Jean Grey's fifth skill. So this oh, one causes shit. silence and incapacitation, removing active buff from target. Let's check out again, shall we? Uh, juicy as well as recovering bro. percentage of HP and increasing all basic attacks and defense by percentage, speed, and crit rate, as well as removing Ooh, capacitation. Another heal. All right, and then we have his awakened. Don't skill. know if he has any eye frame ignore though. Oh, uh, beast! I have a couple friends and... joining in on this one, but it is Angel's Advent. Oh right, no, we, I was gonna say Beast and Sight and Bishop. They already have awakening skills, Yo, was that beast? right? It was Beast. They, uh, they, he got his awakening a long time ago, yeah, right? Yeah, right, oh, right, that's right. sick, dude. I completely time, forgot about time. that. I like that one. Uh, Angel to Advent applies stun and applies itself critical rate increase, damage increase, ignoring target dodge rate by percentage, and a chance to penetrate with super armor, barrier shield, all damage immune, and invincible, while granting invincible, removing debuffs, and increasing all basic attacks. Uh -huh. And lastly, we have his uh, little striker skill here. It's tier four, um, yeah. Is called Wings of Mutant Will. Let's check Wings it out. This is a pretty quick one, but it's pretty fun. Increases all basic attacks, decreases damage received by reflect from reflected effect, rejects all attacks for a few seconds, and recovers a small amount of HP. What? All right, enough of his skills. That sounds Let's go back busted. over to those combos. All right, will Healing? we go two for two? two will for two. I fail miserably? Increase damage, oh, rejects all um, damage. What does that mean? In the meantime, get ready to. And uh, it reduces chat reflect. Those, so uh, maybe answers. maybe this is like a silver right, surfer three, counter five, already. Four. What is rejects all attacks, bro? Here we go. Two oh, is he prod friendly? Easy, Let's go. go. Three RL. It really bad. helped me when I started. Like, so hits. I used to kind of just butt mash a little he bit. He says no to Three, damage. four, five. <laughs> but really, uh, after watching uh, Cynic Alex's videos and watching how he does some of his his stuff, I was able to you know practice a little bit. All right, we did it. Let's jump over to the uh, trivia, shall we, announcer? I appreciate that. Three right, RL. So there's a ton Much of love, Angel brother. fans in the chat. The question was, what is Angel's think, real name? All right, let's see here. We have uh, Ira Wan, Harainato, says Gabriel, Michael. Nope, that's only two parts. Remember, 3RL <laughs> gave you the hint for four parts to his name. Ozan says, Angel fan? God, no. So I guess well, they're, not all, they're not all Angel fans. Rude. Damn, dog. Uh, Mogul Chrome says goat. Anthony. Nope. Uh, Hernan Gomez <laughs> says Juan Carlos. That's pretty funny. Juan Carlos, uh, Anthony the third. Let's see. Somebody got the real name. Somebody got the real name. Oh, here we go. Mohammed as Eldon says Warren Kenneth Worthington the third. Mohammed so, yeah, that's definitely a go. four part. Okay. Game. Maybe it was a little chat more challenging. His name yeah. sounds like he's real fancy or he comes from money. Oh, definitely yeah. money, dude. Yeah. Anytime it's the third, you have to say it in that. <laughs> Warren third. Kenneth Warrington the third, but you can call me Angel. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they got jokes right. this time. They're vibing. Well, we hope you like the irony Three of RL and the announcer. Devil like look. They're vibing, dude. His full government name. That's great. All righty. On the other hand, we have Satana, who has ascended and turned pure white. Yeah. I really do like her her look here. Um, didn't really know much about this character until this next update. But, again, I'm a fan now. Um, let's see. Along with her new look, she's also received a potential transcendence. Um, and this look of Satana is... Good. She's gonna purify her enemies with sacred white flames, resembling a seraphim, um, an ancient angelic being. 
Uh, Satana will be of great use, especially for PvE with her powerful buff of PvE. increasing allies' fire damage. Some of the other characters had some fire damage, so maybe they'll pair to good together. You let us oh, know. Oh, like her and Jean. Her first passive is called Aura of the Noble. This increases energy attack and decreases basic damage received. Her second passive is called Angel's Wrath, um, which could be another like cool club name. Yeah. But anyway, this increases chain hit damage when attacking, ignores target dodge rate by a percentage, and increases skill damage and increases bonus damage as well. All right. It's that time again. Sounds a little bit good. more trivia. So she's just going to be like a All right, guys. So before 3RL takes a closer look at her new angelic moveset, True. let's get another question going. True. Satana was a member of which super group? Here's a hint. It was created by a certain baron. All right, hopefully that wasn't a little too on the nose, but let's take a look at her skills in game. I don't know. I, I, have, I have no idea about Satana. Anybody know in the chat what, what group? Defenders? Floats in with style Th and grace. That's Thunder, right Thunderbolt? into it. Let's see her flying. See, she seems, I don't know. Oh, she's fast, Maybe it's too. just the way Angel was Oh, moving. the hands she are really cool. She quick, but like, I Damn. always like, both oh, her hands are eh? glowing with this little white flame particle oh yeah her group was these right. nuts guys yeah first for sure. skill is called uh -huh. angel good job, flame guys. yeah i heard she was on slug my guys good job all righty this causes fire damage based on energy that attack really oh, bad turn off the counter as that always skill looks so bad one more time that's oh, it's angel like Jean's first skill number two again hearing from you announcer just let me know call it out when you're like that's my favorite move i think i already know but skill number two this is a really angel, nice portrait arrow of salvation sorry let's go wow Oh, that looks sick! Like the little whip back there. That's better. Looks there like it's go. coming from heaven. That's pretty sick. <laughs> this that one applies uh, burn and deals additional percentage of fire damage every second, and paralysis and fire damage based on energy attack. All right, moving on to skill number three. Okay. Let's go right here. This is called flame of purification. Oh, yeah. that looks cool. Like I said, in this update, there's a lot of cool little particle effects going on. Yeah, ten. I love that it's like flame, hit guard. It's like white flame. Like, that's pretty dope. Yeah, it looks like it's righteous flames, fire. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> this causes burn. Deals additional percentage of fire damage every one second. A small percentage decrease of fire resistance, as well as granting barrier and increase to all basic attacks. Mm. All right. Let's looks see. like a jewel with oh, horns. Oh, this big group over here. All right. Skill number four is called Judgment Sword. Oh, that Damn. looks so oh, sick. Dude, that one's probably my favorite. I love this Why is she only going to be a support? These skills look so sick. With that one. Judgment Sword applies uh, burn while dealing additional percentage oh. of fire damage for every one second, as well as silence and capacitation. Excuse me. Removes active buffs from target and decreases all basic defenses by a small percentage. This is like well, so Dark Souls. Recovery to self. And it's like. And increasing she's just all basic be a attacks, support. defense, speed, crit rate while making Damn. capacitation, and a 100% chance to grant all Damn. damage and immunity. I think this one coming up is my favorite. This is That's skill number sick. five. It's called Grand Atonement. We're going to try to go from the left to uh, the right. Oh, it's to a V pad? Side. Let's go. Using the V pad, of course. Ooh. Nice little motion there. Oh, 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 okay, we got them. Yeah, that Look looks sick. Let's try one more time from, like, right here. Yeah, Let's you gotta see. love skills that you could utilize that V-pad movement, dude. That's pretty sick. Love the V-pad, bro. It's got Both charm. That's sick skill. <laughs> All right. Uh, Grand Atonement. Again, you can use the V-pad to use this skill. Causes burn while dealing additional percentage of fire damage, as well as charm and additional percentage of mind damage. In recovery, equal to percentage of DOT damage, as well as snare. In, uh... Applies invincible and increased basic damage by a percentage for one. So she attack. has a charm based heal like enchantress. All right. Her next skill is that awakened skill, and it's called Princess of Hell. So she and is you'll, getting awakened. You'll have with someone else join in here, Hell Storm, who has also received a potential transcendence, joins in this potential transcendent skill. Check it out, shall we? Okay. He there like he slams down and she rains some meteors. Oh, that's pretty sick. Gigabomb, <laughs> Oppenheimer. Right, let's check it out one more time, shall we? Yo. Together they summon the hell ground and drop meteors on their enemies, causing burn and additional percentage <laughs> of fire Vegeta damage, up in this bitch. Paralysis. And applies critical rate and sick. critical damage increase. Ignores target dodge rate by a percentage and a chance to penetrate with super armor, barrier, shield, all damage immune and invincible, as well as granting invincible and removing all the buffs. 
while increasing all basic attacks by percentage and like. basic defenses. I like. All right. Will we go three for three? Three for three. You got this. Hellstorm man. disappeared with Four, like a puff of fire. Three that was pretty and cool. five. Pretty cool touch. Let's go. Okay. Four, no three, pressure. Five. No pressure. Three arrow. Four, three, and five. Oh, oh it was early. So good, she doesn't All seem right. that back on that horse. Right? Doesn't All seem right. there's too many hits on four, on four. Three, five, oh, maybe, maybe, nice. maybe, maybe. Still got it. But not that not many perfect, hits, eh? But that's okay. Nah, 71 oh, hits doesn't do it then, anymore, bro. The time has come. Unless she does a lot of damage. Let's see if you figured out we'll which see. super group Satana was a member of. All right, guys. So we have a few answers here on the chat. Maybe the hint was a little bit too on the nose, but. One of the funnier ones we got is Jara says Spice Girls. That is a super group, but that is unfortunately not the group she was part of. Come on, Eduardo Chad. de la Rosa says Strange Spice Academy. Girls. Nope, that's not it. We have Anime Bleach Babe with the correct answer. It's Thunderbolts. So she was an answer. Oh, actually, hold on. Jay Taco says so... Powerpuff Girls. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, it's the definitely the, the Thunderbolts. That's a part of the super group she was part of. Take it away, 3RL. Alrighty, thank you for... Uh partaking in our trivia we hope you enjoyed the april fool's day with the fallen angel and the ascended tran uh ascended satana okay now we see thanos and then we see the new game mode all righty hey. last and certainly not least we have another powerful super villain thanos has acquired a new uniform through this update meet king thanos Yo, the sword's on fire the entire universe under his reign attacking his enemies with the beautiful twilight sword which is he's got a twilight sword too other characters in general dude that what the sword hell is epic. it looks larger than him dude and he's everybody got the twilight sword now everybody's got a twilight he's, sword he's uh, come out of retirement and no longer just a uh, wise farmer he has an epic beard um, i'm taking that beard yeah i like the coat kind of matches makes it seem like he's going to some cold environments and whatnot but <clears throat> i'm a big fan of this look uh Thanos will dominate in PvP. Dominate. And he summons, he will also be summoning the Cosmic Ghost Rider for one of his attacks. <gasps> and uh, his enemies will be ruthlessly attacked with his younger self. So more on that later, you'll see. What? Um, his first passive is called Hero Slayer. And this applies super armor, increasing all basic defenses, increasing basic damage dealt to superhero, the superhero faction. <clears throat> okay. And there's activation of one hit, will apply as a self for recovery, a percentage of HP. Uh-huh. All right. Last trivia question of the evening. Um, before we check out the Mad Titan the skills. The skill would have been let's crazy. Go <laughs> With all the right, chains. I mean, all right, announcer, that's me. <laughs> all right, guys, who among you guys knows your Marvel lore? This is actually a really interesting question, and I never gave it any thought myself, but the question is, what causes Thanos' skin to be purple? And it's, oh, it's not a mutation. from eating a lot of eggplants, I can assure you. Right? It's, what he's causes he's, Thanos' he skin to be purple? So, all right, guys, let's get those he's answers like a freak in the chat. On the, right, on the planet Titan. Know. Wasn't he like a freak? And we'll jump straight into his skills. He's a deviant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all like right. a mutation or whatever. He's a deviant. Grapes. Okay. Thanos. He's also very tall. The deviant um, gene. I don't know if he's. He looks taller than Beta Ray Bill. I can't uh, really tell. Yeah, Beta Ray Bill was also was pretty menacing. Good he's job, also, Chad. He's like pretty tall. Like I thought a, that he's just holding this. Like yeah, he's just running it around. Man. Like, imagine like this guy. Not, I'm not reading that. Uh, I'm not reading any of the eggplant based me. comments, guys. Cool down. Off. Despicable. All right. <clears throat> Jumping right into it. Skill number one is called Warp Blast. Warp. 2,300 people watching, by the way, guys. That's insane. All right. Warp Blast. I haven't seen this many people watching the stream in a uh, long time. Applies to enemies. Up, Stun and removing all buffs from target. Okay. Uh, applies itself. A percentage of HP increase. A chance to penetrate with super armor. Barrier. Shield. And all damage immune. As well as invincible. Removing all debuffs. Wow. And an energy. Uh, oh, he's got a cleanse on his first skill. High percentage of physical attack with that energy damage. Damn. Skill number two is called Twilight of Titan. Nobody wants to miss Thanos in the left. new game mode. True. All right, announcer, you got to let me know again. Call out that favorite skill when you see it. <clears throat> For right. sure, dude. All right. Twilight of Titans. Let's go. Oh. There's like multiple swords coming in there. That looks sick. This causes burn, stun, and energy damage with a high percentage of physical attack. That looks pretty right. good. This is... I'm not going <clears> to <throat> lie. Excuse me. All right. Skill number good three. Skill. Oh, Ghost Rider. See... Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. Uh... Ghost Rider, come in here and join the fight. Let's check it out, shall we? Oh, 
Oh, and he screams. You can he, like, barely dive see bombs him. into it. That's kind of cool. You see him coming out from the right side there. Bam. He takes a few hits. I Lots hear him. Fire damage. Oh. Super <clears throat> this causes burn and paralysis while ignoring immunity. Applies itself. Uh, an increased all basic attacks, defense, speed, and crit rate by a percentage, and removes incapacitation with a high chance to grant all damage immunity. Okay. All right. Skill number four. It's Osmond called Ghost Twilights Rider. of the Multiverse. All right. Let's check it out. Multiverse? Oh, he snaps. Rain down. Yo, this is sword. crazy. So I assume from, from all over the multiverse, different the versions snap of the snap is back, boys. This causes time freezing as well as burn and deals additional uh, fire damage for every one second and decreases all basic defenses by a percentage as well. Yo, he gets uh, time freeze now? which removes active debuffs from target and applies and increase all basic attacks, all basic defenses, and speed. The snap sound all effect right. sounds so nice. True, true. A favorite one yet, announcer? I mean, I like that last one because it kind of looks like the game like messes up, but it's actually his time freezing. Yeah, I like that. All right. Skill number five is called Seasoned Slayers. Yo, he's coming in, old Thanos. Yo! He got in his past self coming in to fight with him. He throws the sword over to him? Let's see. Try to did he throw the sword over to him? I think he did. Uh, this applies stun, he fracture, did! incapacitation, decreases all basic defenses by percentage, uh, stacks, and is, ignores immunity. Also, grants invincible, immunity to all debuffs. And excluding bosses, it ignores enemies damaged uh, by a percentage. That's crazy. And lastly, we're going to check out his ultimate they swapped skill, weapons. which is called Endless Void. Yeah, yeah. Those animations are clean. Pretty menacing, if you do say that. Clean, myself. bro. Right, endless Void. Yeah, we've seen this one before. This I mean, decreases nice, all uh, very speeds nice of their enemies by percentage, stun, fear, and incapacitation, um, as well as t applying to self, ignore target dodge rate. Uh, high chance to I penetrate the super armor barrier is shield. Crazy nice. Invincible, granting invincible. A lot of swords in this update, eh? Thanos got the sword. Satana's got that gigantic holy attack. sword. All right. We already messed up the, the streak, but we're just going to keep on moving into the combo. I like that. Three for four. All right. We got three, four, and five, the dev recommended combo. There we go. Okay. Ooh, maybe three for four. Friendly? That's better than I did last time. I That's think last live stream, I like, messed up. It Bro, the iPad's times. lagging. <laughs> Well, there you have it. There's 107 hits, not bad. Thanos from Thanos wins. Yeah, I think Angel uh, has And with a that, let's jump into the well. last bit of trivia from the chat and see what right. we got. Last bit of trivia. All right, oh, yeah, guys, so I'm DVD. seeing a lot of interesting answers in the chat. Some of them legit made me laugh out loud. So thanks, guys, for all those awesome answers. I'm going to give a shout out to like the people that I see, at least in my version of oh, the yeah, chat. Oh, yeah, X-Force uh, team up got, got the another answer quickest, which me, leads me to believe Wolverine, that they Cable, didn't use Storm, Google. So Angel. here is, we have a shout out to... Nehemiah True. Nicholson says the deviant gene. That's the correct answer, but deviant. here's some funny ones. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Destiny Ray Passion says lack of oxygen. The wow. king says eggplant. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the user Goofy says ate too much potatoes. I don't know how. Per that there's purple potatoes. Oh, know. there's purple yeah, potatoes. Uh, You're yeah, right. Yeah, okay, that, yeah. True. Oh, good job. <laughs> I don't know your <laughs> Thanks everybody for uh, <laughs> participating in our uh, little trivia. Oh, just a little bit, you know, some laughs, some fun. Yep. Uh, never really thought about uh, why Thanos was purple. You know, there's always kinds of there's like there's a talking raccoon, there's uh, Howard the Duck. Yeah, there's um, cats that eat stuff. Yeah, what is it, goose? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, got a little bit of everything. True. So we hope you look forward to the mighty new looks of Thanos, cat. a super villain who only sees victory in his path. All right, now the new game mode, boys. Okay, let's just go through this next section yeah, real yeah. quick. Yeah, yeah. We're going to move on to the uniform options for the April Fool's uniforms and the new uniform of Thanos. Okay. Starting right into it. Before Angel we looks switch, good, I just got to say I really like their uh, their little portraits right yeah, there. Portraits they are really clean. Well. They have a nice, you know, uh, color palette, I will say. It's almost like the Easter colors if yeah, you think about it. Definitely. It's pastel, yeah. All right. So the first options for Angel, the Fallen one, include Shadow Shell, Domino, and silver the surfer bad optionals bro and then we have uh options for satana the ascended one are, Those are bad optionals Knight, too uh luna snow and <laughs> Those black panther from out. marvel studios black panther wakanda forever <laughs> oh, and lastly here are some good. options for the thanos. thanos from thanos wins 
which include Iron Man Back to Basics. That's okay. Uh, Iron Professor Man and Gwen X is good. and Spider Gwen from Spider Man Across but the Spider Verse. Doctor Strange and Hyperion. Is um, crazy. The uniform sale will apply to the new uniform of Thanos and all uniform options. And please note that the April Fool's uniforms will not be discounted. Yep. And please check on the event notice at the community forum for more details on the uniform list. Okay. Uh, yeah, let us know what your favorite uniform is, what you're looking forward to. And uh, yeah, we're getting ready to mode. move into the next area. The game mode. The game mode. Finally. Okay. Here's whoa, the whoa, tier whoa, whoa, four whoa, whoa, whoa. exclusive content that many agents have been looking for. Okay. The tier four content for the March update is World Boss Legend Plus. Okay, so she is. We know that some agents may not be able to enjoy this since it's a tier four exclusive boss. Okay. But fear not. And please keep in mind that we're constantly preparing more content. Okay. We assure you that there will be more updates that all of our agents can enjoy. So please stay tuned. But okay. we have prepared, prepared this update mainly around the world boss, which uh, was voted as a favorite content by many agents. It's always voted. So let's go in the details of okay. the new T4 content. The new tier four exclusive world boss Black Swan has been released with the unpre unprecedented powerful difficulty of Legend Plus. Okay. You can see it right here. I like the book a little set bar at the bottom. I like there. that. To enjoy Love and, uh, Legend Plus difficulty, agents have to clear Story Stage 8 3, possess more than three Tier 4 heroes, sure, and uh, have to clear all of the challenges. So <clears throat> bear with me because we're going to try out the new world boss, Black Swan, together, shall we? All right, moving on to the next screen. We're ready. So I'm going to take Thanos with us. Let's grab Thanos. You already used him. Oh, oh okay, we're gonna switch it up. None of these characters have uniforms, Doc. You're gonna get clapped. All right, don't mind me. Only have a few heroes because this is a new build. Bro, cut to commercial. Cut to commercial, you're gonna get clapped, bro. So ideally, we wanted to run with Thanos, his new uniform, the Wise Harvester uniform as a leader, with a main dealer of Loki and a Mystique as support. Um, and just to note, Wise Harvester uniform get, uh, is going to get a buff with this update and will perform much better in PvE. So again, sorry for the mix-up on the team. They're buffing, the, they're buffing this his, anyway, his so farmer uniform? A quick run through. Oh, that's interesting. That's good. They don't even have their tier four strikers, bro. Right. Go back. Go back, bro. No, bro. Go back. Go back. Go back. Bro, go back. You have to put a tier four striker, brother. And let us know in the chat um, who you'd pick for your teams. They're going to uh, make this look so hard because he's using it. a bad team. Ah, okay. Well, okay. The library of worlds. Okay. We don't want spoilers Check on the story. the story. No, here. stop. Stop. I don't want to see this 3RL. No, 3RL, stop. No, I'm, I'm not looking. I don't want to look. I don't want to be spoiled, guys. I want to experience the story for myself. Let me know when the story's over, guys. I'm looking at the chat. I can't see anything but the chat, guys. Tell me when to take my hands Alrighty. down. It's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing genuinely... a few people in the chat here being excited about that uh, Wise Harvester uniform buff. So, yeah, yeah guys, that's um, awesome. I'm yeah. really happy to hear about that. Again, I was doing some testing okay, Library earlier. of Worlds. Oh, my God. Um, she looks good, With though. the other team that I spent some time buffing up. But okay. now we're just going to jump in and take a, a quick field. look. I am probably not going to be able to do Black much to destroy the force field here okay. because I have a team that Creating wasn't really ready, twister. but you can kind of see what's going on here. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that was something we definitely did with the Wise Harvester, so we hope uh, players can look forward to that with some of the other April Fool's costumes. Brother, what she is that crazy shield, shield thing, thing going on right ass. here? Again. I was so oh my god, he's only filled, he's filled up so little of the shield? Up, but that's okay. Okay, he's she dead. Show a quick showcase of some of her moves. Okay. And I'm absolutely failing here because... Um, yeah, you don't have any Yeah, uniforms. this stuff is top tier content. And, uh, and you don't have any uniforms, you don't have any tier ready, 4 skills. That's okay. We keep it moving. As we always say, just please bear with us. This is actually a live stream, so yeah. Yeah, so yeah, it, yeah, this is me failing miserably, but that's okay. okay. I just you know? want to see what happens when you break the shield. Hope some of your uh, top tier players out there have a little bit okay, more Okay, the tornadoes. Here. But the tornadoes seem kind of different. Ahead, since we're definitely losing. Ah, press here. Let's just go ahead, yeah. No! 
but stay tuned guys there's some more world boss <clears throat> okay okay yeah. more more so more. that was a little bit of a preview again not the best uh team for that so sure. let us know in the chat what team you want to use good segue and uh we'll move over to some other the curious uh what agents might be curious about with the rewards and improvements so let's okay. go into that yeah, yeah, yeah. we want to this that's really important for sure <sighs> all righty after that um bad run Let's go ahead and talk okay. about some of those rewards. You can acquire tier two, three, and four materials from World Boss Legend uh, plus Black Swan. Okay. That will be more than the other World Bosses, and this includes CTP of Refinement and Insight can also be acquired uh, besides the CTP rewards of other bosses. Um, okay. When you challenge a new World Boss Black Swan, uh, we look forward to hearing about your tips as well so i really like about this community is we really see a lot of um forum posts and uh content around how players can improve themselves so we always look forward to seeing that kind of stuff mm -hmm. great content creators all righty moreover various improvements for the world boss have been made uh first of all the special world boss loots are now available after the first clear reward for all stages above stage five in world boss first legends clear uh world boss loot with higher grades drop at the higher stages so the higher grades of the loot and higher chance for items such as ctps and premium comic cards agents can also acquire the exclusive artifact of their retrospective bosses except for noel and mephisto as a first clear reward every 10th stage. Oh, they're giving Gene artifact um, and so Gore artifact. If you aim higher for the stage, you'll get a higher That's ranked big. artifact. That's nice. Please for note free. as well that the first clear uh, records have been reset, so agents who have already acquired their first clear reward can challenge for new rewards. That's good. A lot of free artifacts. Yeah, we're seeing a lot more excitement in the chat about all of these increased rewards, and stay That's tuned. Awesome. There's a lot more changes yeah. to come. Um, all right. Next up. What did alleviate? We have another little change here. We have some different aspects of the world boss difficulties have been reduced. Uh, the world boss unlock challenges for Noel and Mephisto, Infinity, Ultron, and Gore have been reduced. Good. So there's a much more simplified unlock condition which will apply compared to previous That's good. That's complicated good. That's good. Changes, uh, challenges. Uh, that way, agents can quickly challenge World Boss Legend. I climb up, yep. Also, the difficulty for Infinity Ultron and Gore have been reduced to be similar to that of Noel and Mephisto. Oh, wow. This is also related to the acquisition of Titan's records, uh, which we'll go ahead and go over in a moment. There also have been changes to made to Dark Phoenix and King the Conqueror as well. The pattern of the last phase of Dark Phoenix has been simplified. In the legacy, uh, the lengthy animation of Kang the Conqueror that many agents have mentioned has been shortened. Okay. And some patterns can now be skipped for a shorter, clear time. Okay. I don't know if I like All those right. last. Two. And speaking of those Titans records, let's oh, talk about yeah. the acquisition of those bad boys. Okay. So um, they've doing, been improved, and hopefully, this is something agents have been this is good. Uh, hoping for. Now that a certain type of Titan Records drop chance is higher based on world bosses Null, Mephisto, Affinity, Ultron, and Gore. This is great. Agents no longer have to clear world boss ultimate to acquire specific types of Titan mm -hmm. Records uh, more easily. So challenge Null for Titan's Records of Combat, Mephisto for Blast, Infinity, Ultron for Speed, and Gore for Universal for better drop chances. What about chances. Kang and Jean? And uh, for this, the difficulty of Null, Mephisto, Infinity, Ultron, and Gore have been uh, adjusted uh, as well. Okay. So agents who were unable to clear Infinity, Ultron, and Gore can now challenge them. Okay. Okay, true. The reason why I don't like changing um, Kang and Jean is because they should still be difficult. Like, if anything, everything's getting easier because characters are getting stronger anyways. And we're getting swords and, and premium cards and stuff, So and team-up collections. So there's no need to make it e th those All later right bosses easier. Uh, thanks for that little intermission. Just to get back to the screen here. Um, let's go ahead and take a look between both these here. Uh, we understand that most of you select world bosses based on today's world boss. Yep. Even if you need Blast... And if your today's world boss is Gore, you you may play Gore, not Mephisto. So to help with that, um, it means null, but it's okay. 
we've separated today's world boss from legend to ultimate. Yo, that's huge! more Titans records. Um, in addition, that's great. we've had a new system for agents who were not able to acquire Titans records despite the changes. So if you check out right here, you have a nice little selector. Uh, Titans records to agents who have didn't acquire any Titans records even after clearing the world boss 10 times. So basically, so just you're guaranteed a book every two days. You can uh, select. You're your guaranteed book. a book every two days. That's excellent. <clears throat> and with that, we hope the changes will help agents, and we'll continue to do our best so that agents can keep enjoying. Huge World W, boss. Min minimum, minimum, one book every two days. Minimum. Big, big, big change for two. Righty stuff. then. We have looked into the main changes of the March update so far. There are more details and improvements that were not discussed in the live stream, so please check out the update details yeah. and notices that will be posted on the Titan community forum. Yeah. And then thanks to everyone who stuck around to the very end. Okay, we get the coupon it's code. It's time now. for the event coupon code. And coupon. as you know, if you've been here before, the coupon code can be used in the main lobby screen. Go to settings, info, and coupon for Android users. And if you're an iOS and Apple user like myself, you go on the forum. Usually some bird is entered into the chat now. The coupon code is Black Swan. Black Swan is the coupon go. code if you're iOS. This is you have valid to go to until website. 326, 759. I don't have the link for the website. AM Sorry, guys. PDT, uh, change in the time there. Usually so Miriam posts it, but Miriam's not make here. Make sure you get that before it expires. And there you have it. We did it. We made it through the March update live stream. Again, apologize for the, job, the showcase arrow. with Black Swan. I was trying to be... Uh, prepared and I was fighting some other uh, world bosses. I'm like, oh, I'm going to do really good. Uh, yeah, hey, that was a new mistake. But right. anyway, hopefully you got a chance to at least see a you little bit of it. did a good job, Thrill. You crushed so, it, man. No worries. Uh, let us know once the update comes out what your thoughts are. We'll be looking forward to those. And with that, thank you so much. Uh, be sure to follow our social media channels, uh, forums, or everything Marvel, Future Fight. I'm going to take it over to announcer. I feel like I've been talking for a few minutes straight. So... Take it away, announcer. Let's get into your goodbyes, shall we? No, thank you, 3RL. And like for some context, as 3RL mentioned, yeah, we have these accounts wiped, and then we start them fresh on this test account. So, yeah, there was some uh, mix-ups yeah, uh, mix here up, on right? our end. But also, honestly, thank you guys so, so much for all the positive feedback in the comments. This kind of reiterates and re-energizes us here in the U.S. office. Uh, as I always mention, please keep that feedback coming in. As you guys saw from today's update, a lot of that is from us relaying the information over to our developer side. And we are always, always, always listening, guys. So please True. don't, as I think my word of the day is always like, it doesn't fall on deaf ears. So we're always listening to you guys. We're always Phrase watching content day. creators, right. forum posts, all the comments and the videos. So we're always listening. We're trying to improve the game as much as we can. So yeah, take it away through our route. Thanks guys for joining into the live stream as always. Thanks. Thank you, announcer. Just needed a moment to just uh, take a breath. <laughs> anyway, good night, everyone. Right, Thank you again, as the announcer said, for joining us, spending your Monday evening with us, and checking out all the updates for the Marvel Future Fight uh, update V990. So, thank you. I appreciate you. Good night, everyone. This is 3RL signing off. Hey, peace out, 3RL. See you, brother. Okay, boys, that was pretty big. Not bad.